We turn now to Republican Senator Jeff Flake, who joins us from Phoenix. Senator, you said that you might be open to endorsing Donald Trump if he changes. What kind of a change would he need to make? Well, on a couple of his statements, for example, the, uh, the ban on Muslims, he's walked that back somewhat. Uh, but then uh, you, you don't know. Some of the statements uh, suggest that he may not have walked it back. That's certainly going to have to change. And also, he's going to have to give a further explanation about uh, the judge comment. Uh, that, uh, you know, you have to worry about uh, the kind of judges that he will put on the bench, not just the Supreme Court, but on the federal bench. And he ha if he has a problem with judges of Mexican heritage, um, worrying that they'll rule against uh, things that he's doing, then you can't have that. And so he's going to have to make a clearer statement there as well. He tried this week to uh, clarify his statements on the judge. Uh, do, what did you think of those of that response? Well, to say that uh, his, his statement was just mischaracterized is wrong. Uh, that statement uh, should be retracted, and he ought to apologize for it. So you can't just go on saying people are misunderstanding me. Uh, you've got to admit that uh, you're saying things that simply need to be walked back and you need to take a different position. I was interested in your comments about the judges. One of the arguments he's made, he's put out a list of Supreme Court nominees he might pick from. One of the arguments he's made is if he's elected, he'll be the one picking perhaps the next justice. And so that alone makes him a better candidate than Hillary Clinton. Well, he did put together a good list. Uh, I think most of us, uh, those of us who are conservative, were pleased to see that list. We have to remember, though, he appoints not just Supreme Court justices, but uh, ju judges to the entire federal bench. And, and that's a lot of judges. And to have somebody who has a problem uh, with judges maybe of Mexican descent, uh, then that creates a bigger problem than just the Supreme Court. When uh, you've mentioned some of the things Donald Trump would have to do to, to turn the corner, what gives you uh, some sense given his past practices, that he would stick with the new approach if, in fact, he did what you were hoping he would do? Well, I'm not confident at all. I, I hope that he does, but uh, there's, there's a worry that he'll simply go back to the outlandish statements if he feels that it's to his political advantage. And so uh, we have a lot of time between now and November. We haven't even got to the convention. Uh, so I hope that a number of us, at least, will withhold endorsement. I've not endorsed uh, until we see. It's not a comfortable position to not support your nominee of the party. None of us want to be in this position, but there are certain things that uh, you, you can't do as a candidate, and some of the things he's done, I think, are beyond the pale. One of the things that he says to his critics on this specific issue of the judge and other things is that people are just being too politically correct. When I talked to him, he said that, that they need a little common sense about these kinds of issues. What's your response to that? <laughs> There's something called political correctness and there's something called correctness. And to say that a judge can't uh, judge correctly simply because he has Mexican heritage is not correct. So it, it goes beyond political correctness. Uh, some of these things are simply uh, bad statements and uh, some of the statements with regard to, to women are, are simply boorish. Um, so uh, it goes beyond political correctness. What about the idea that there's a set of policies here that Donald Trump, if he's elected, would help get through and that he would, as a Republican president, sign those policies and that, that if you just focus on the policies and not some of these comments, that that would be a reason to get behind him because Hillary Clinton is the alternative? I, I'm certainly sympathetic to that. And uh, Paul Ryan has said that uh, the House package that he's putting together, which is a good package of reforms, is more likely to be enacted under a President Trump. Uh, that's why we hope that he can uh, be a different kind of candidate than he's been so far, uh, because none of us want the alternative. We want, don't want another four years of what we've just had, and that's likely what we'll get uh, with President Clinton. What's it like, Senator, taking this position? Uh, politics is pretty hot right now. Are you getting uh, grief from constituents? Are you getting praise? What's, uh, what's it like on your end? It's a mixture of both, obviously. Uh, Arizona went for Trump in the Republican uh, presidential preference primary. So I do hear from a lot of people who would like me to simply get behind the nominee. Uh, but given the things that he said, uh, I simply can't right now. And I've got a lot of support for that position as well. What's the, 
give us a sense of what's happening in the Republican Party right now. Is this just a little internal uh, difficulty, or is the Republican Party facing a real choice here, in your view? This is a real choice. This is a big deal. Um, we obviously want to support the nominee, um, and there will be a problem if we don't. If we don't have a unified party going into this election, it will have consequences. But there will also be consequences if we support a nominee who continues to take positions that simply are inconsistent uh, with the party's position over time. Um, we cannot support somebody who would take us back on some of these issues. Uh, we can't uh, support uh, a, a candidate, for example, who will do to the Hispanic vote uh, what has been done to the African American vote for Republicans going forward. Uh, we can't afford to do that as a party. And unless Mr. Trump changes some of his positions, we fear that that's where we'll be. All right, Senator Jeff Flake Forrest from Arizona. Thanks so much, Senator. And we'll be back in a moment.